told her during that whole year in 1978, we all laughed and we made fun of it. I said, are you kidding me? This is not going to happen. Clergy ruling? This is three years of this empire. We've never had a religious rule. Why are we going to be in 20th century, have a religious rule? No way. And we laughed it. And we didn't believe it. We didn't think it's going to happen. And we didn't think that they were going to have the guts to push Sharia law on us. But the joke was on us. They did. He came, he took over, and he forced Sharia law, Islamic law, uh, to on, on the people, and the worst, on women. Overnight, Iranian women went from totally equal members of the country to third class non-citizen tools like incubators and nobody. And when you protested, you faced thugs and hoodlums with bats and chains. We found out that it was not a joke and once the Sharia law wants to take over, they will take over, and it's, in, it's important. When I came, uh, fled to America as a political refugee, I decided that I'm gonna fight for the rights of the women of Iran, my sisters that I had left behind. <clears throat> but during the last decade or so, I have this Islamism, Sharia law, has started here in America and in Europe. And I thought, well, last time I laughed at it and didn't take it serious. <coughs> this time, I'm not going to laugh at it. I'm going to take it serious and I'm going to fight it. let that happen again and I'm not going to let them take this homeland away from me and they are not going to take my freedom my democracy my equal rights as a woman away from me about American Muslims there are a lot of uh, myths and this information uh, provided to the media and politicians in this country. <coughs> there is no American Muslim community. American Muslims are as diverse as American Christians are. We come from three different continents, 57 different countries, many, many different languages, many, many different cultures, many, many historical background, and even different sects of Islam. Nobody can speak for such a diverse community. We don't even speak each other's language. And let me tell you a secret. Some of us don't like each other either. <laughs> there are historical reasons for the ones who have attacked and bloodshed, killed, and, and took over the other countries to push Sharia law and Islam on the non-Arabs. So, when they say care or ikna or isna, they talk about their uh, talking on behalf of American Muslims. No such thing. Nobody talks on behalf of any American Muslims. For example, in 1979, there were 53,000 Iranian Americans in this country. In 1989, <coughs> it became 
became half a million. 1999 became one million, according to the census report. <coughs> and census report of 2000, there is two million Iranian Americans in this country who have all fled from Islam and Sharia law. And you think they fled from Islam and Sharia law in Iran and they are now here in America and they want Sharia law? That should be a great joke. <coughs> Most of the mosques are built only by few organizations and people. Most of them are built by petrodollars from Middle East. Most of the Imams, which I have never met one, have uh, are receive their livelihoods from petrodollars from Middle East. According to the Care Organization recent poll, which I don't trust them. <laughs> Only 13% of American Muslims are mosque goers. 87% of American Muslims don't go to mosques. What does that tell you? Are we supposed to cater to 13%, which I don't trust, or 87%? What is the agenda here? Is it like 1400 years ago when Islam started in Arabian Peninsula and uh, took over the Middle East, many, many, many countries, North Africa, by war and massacre and bloodshed and forced the people <coughs> to put aside their cultures, their languages, their lives and adopt Islam and Arabic language and become Arabs. <coughs> this is the same law. They have started. They have their beginning. It's not only Islamization. It's Arabization. And I'm sorry. I know I'm politically incorrect. I shouldn't be saying these kind of things. It's ra racism or all of those stuff. But I'm a Muslim from Middle East. <laughs> because we're here, we're living we're every day, we're raising our kids, go to work, <coughs> nine to five, raise our kids, save for college education, pay taxes, and we don't, we're not really into pushing Sharia law on anybody. We don't even have time to go to mosque, 87% of us. <laughs> so. Um, why are these people, the 13% or the people who consider themselves the representatives of the 13%? Why are they pushing this stuff? What's their agenda? We know what the agenda is. Islamization or Arabization of the world. It's the second Khalifa to be established. But they didn't think there were going to be people like me who were going to fight them. <laughs> now there is um, what we call Islamism, which is an ideology, it's not a religion. And then there is political Islam. The young Iranians who live under the tyranny of, of Islamists in Iran, they call it political Islam or radical Islam. Whatever it is, it's not Islam as a religion. It is an ideology, an radical ideology, who's trying to push their ideology on everybody else in the world. And it's with fear. Terrorism, that scares the hell out of everybody. Uh, a few other planes going into our buildings, of course, and then the judges are so scared they are going to let the Muslim men kill their wives in America. 
As Sharia law, Sharia law is nothing, it's a man made, it's not a divine law. There has never been. was established, how was it established? <coughs> By conquering the lands and keep on going conquering. And when the empire was built, they needed laws and rules to run the empire. And so a group of people, over time, they sat down and wrote laws, and they call it fiqh in <coughs> Arabic, and Sharia law according to us. It's totally man-made. Why should I act according to that man-made law 1,400 years ago in the God knows where? And this is 21st century. There is a thing like progress. <laughs> Civilization. And so Sharia law that was made for 1400 years ago to run the Islamic Empire is not applicable today to anybody. Why would anybody want to follow Sharia law living in America under such wonderful freedom and democracy? 